everyone, this is Sam and I have a very interesting video idea for you guys today. So the other day when I was playing Happy Home Paradise, I was looking through the customization options and most of the time the options just give you a different color palette to work with and sometimes it'll add a little bit of spice, you know? Things that I'm not talking about include capital G gamer chair. You'll notice that a lot of the design choices are the same. Most of the options only change a pop of color and then there's a couple unique options. And then there's also the other side where popcorn, you get a bunch of customization options. There's the two rows, so there's so much variety, but we can't even change the tray. Why do we even get to customize it? I can't use this anywhere. It just doesn't fit. <laughs> but then there's a lot of items where not only do you change the color of the item, but you also change the model or an element to the item in general. So I decided that I would go through every single furniture and DIY that I have crafted, basically whatever is available to me through the DLC. I look through every single one to see which ones are unique or special and maybe even secret designs that you guys haven't heard of before. I hope that that this can help new people especially but also people that do know a lot about Animal Crossing like me. A bonus detail I noticed in some items, for example the high chair, is that when changing the color of the chair the milk in the sippy cup actually goes down, which I think is pretty interesting. And if you decide that you want to buy a gray chair, then that means that your baby goes hungry and I just think that's so neat that they'd add a little detail like that. So the first item that I have here is probably something that everyone's aware of already. But with the log chair, you get the choice of a cushion and then you can custom design that or choose a different pattern. Same with the log extra long sofa and the log garden lounge chair. All of these can come with the pillow. New players may not know this, but other players probably are already aware of this one. So that's why I put it first. Don't worry, there'll be some new stuff. The next furniture that I wanted to show off was a lot of the wedding furniture where if you look at the ribbon for the wedding bench, for example, you can see that it shrinks. It's not really a huge detail, it's very minor for the wedding bench and the wedding furniture, but I thought that it was a cool detail that I don't know if everyone noticed. They probably did, especially for the wedding flower stand. Um, it, the chic version just completely removes the ball together. The cute one has a longer bow. Again, I don't know if people care that much about these details. These ones are pretty minor. The wedding welcome board also has this. Each one actually has a different custom design style at the top. This one has the three flowers, this one has the one flower and the ribbon. And this one just has the leaf design at the top. The other wedding items that change include the wedding cake. It has some added fruit and ribbon changes. Another wedding item that changes is the wedding candle set. The bow is only on the cute version and then the other two versions don't have the bow which to be honest I'm not really a big fan of the bow. I kind of like these versions more. And then the last one for the wedding furniture is the wedding pipe organ which this one I actually didn't know um, before making this. I didn't notice this the first time with this item specifically. So you can see that at the very top, there's a little pattern that they have that changes with each one. Another set that you probably already are aware of is the mom's furniture. Mom's furniture has a lot of different customization changes. So for the cushion, the only change is these little balls at the end of the, the pillow corners. There's also mom's homemade cake, which is probably one of the more popular ones, but still people might not know this, especially if you're new. This one changes into carrot cake, which is really cute. There's a little dog cake, which I actually did not notice before, not gonna lie. What the dog doing? These variations are really cute and very versatile. Another mom's merch item that has this change is mom's plushie. Sometimes it gives the plushie ears, slightly changed face shape. Three different types in this one are Bedford, the dog design, and then Rory has a little lion design, but I think my favorite is probably the puffers one just because it's, it's like a cute little dog. Mom's tea cozy has the little pom-pom at the top for most of the items. Pom-pom, pom-pom. And then only for this one specifically. And you actually change it into little cat ears. I think that's pretty cute. Gives a little tail in the back. The next category I broke this up into is cooking items because there is a lot of cooking items. So people might know about a lot of these, especially if you played Happy Home Paradise. But if you didn't know, a lot of the cooking items can customize into having different food. And it actually changes the height of the food and the model and it changes the transparency. So other than the frying pan, we also have the Imperial Pot, all the different styles of food. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Then there's this. I do not know how to pronounce this. I just read it as chafing, but I'm 
pretty sure that's not what it's supposed to be, but the chafing dish also has some food added. I like all the variation that it gives you. Also in the cooking items section is the stew pot. A bunch of different options. This one is mostly color changing rather than model changing, but because the original is empty, it uh, still counts, so. Another one is the fresh food trays. The first three have that fish shape, and then for the other ones, they change. One of them is this um, fish block, kind of gross. Red fleshed fish flock, I don't know. Mm. Squid and fatty tuna. So kind of two main shapes, although they do change a little of the details, like the squid is a little bit different. Next up is deep fryer. Most of them are similar, but some of them are empty. The ones have fries, and then there's also this one, the black variant, and it has I don't know what these are, fucking burritos, rolls, I don't know. Another popular one is the Yule Log. This one has some mushies and straws. This one seems to have three main variants, I think. One with three leaves, one with no leaves, and then one with the mistletoe. The fish drying rack also has a mild change. There's the fish, squid, and octopus options for this. Now we're done with the cooking items. The rest of them I'm gonna try to go from most known to least known and or from items that are probably more obvious or un like not as cool. <laughs> The next item I want to talk about is the Azumaya Gazebo and also the Pergola. New items that you can get with the Nook Miles. Normally they have a flat bamboo roof and then for the Mossy variation it has little flowers growing off the top. It's one of my favorite variants. The Pergola, it's one of the most popular new items and this one has a lot of variants actually. Each one of the Pergola custom designs is pretty cool because they're all actually unique. The only ones that are not unique are the purple flowers and pink flowers but all of the other ones have completely different leaves, completely different flower placements, different types of flowers, so this is definitely one of the best new items. The next one, it's the small mannequin and the dress mannequin. When you change the variant, the black small mannequin has the baseball cap and the dress mannequin has the same thing where the black variant changes the glasses, kind of cool little detail unless you're creeped out by mannequins, then I guess you don't care. The next time is the mini car and it has one special variant, damage good for abandoned core city core themes. Next item for new people that may not know, this item specifically is the only fire item where you can get roasting marshmallows. For this next item, we have the double-edged sword. This item has one variant change, which is the old map. The next item reminds me of the pergola because it has so many different variants with the model changes. So this one has a total of four model changes. The next piece is the Dormant Volcano. This furniture item has two different variants. It has Summer Peak, Fall Peak, and Winter Peak, and then the Red Rock Peak and the Grey Rock Peak. The next item is the cool wall item that you can change however you want. It's called Glow in the Dark Stickers, and it looks like music notes at first, but there are some pre-existing designs, and then you can also make your own. This item is super versatile for if you would like to make curtains, this one is also good for making windows. If you have a outdoor wallpaper, especially like an accent wall, this works great. Another item that changes in appearance is the modeling clay. So there's basically three variants to this one. The dinosaur, the cake, and nothing. This item is the pop-up book. This one is well known, but I still think it's worth mentioning just for completionist's sake. Closing in on the last three items, we have the glass jar. However, do not be fooled. The glass jar does not just have food, but it also has yarn, making it one of the best 2.0 items, clearly. The second to last furniture that I chose was the mobile. I think it's deceiving at first, and you might only want to use it for kid core, but the gorgeous design actually makes it good for any build, in my opinion. And I have to say that the gorgeous design is probably my favorite and is very versatile because you can also use it as a wind chime. And lastly, the item that may surprise you because it looks like it's nothing is the recycled paper bundle. And I know what you're thinking, why is this the most interesting item to me? Well, as someone who loves the book and paper clutter items, this item is great because not only does it have newspaper and magazine options, but it also has book. And honestly, I can never get enough books tied up with string. Strings. I just think they're adorable. And I hope to be seeing this item in everyone's builds if it already wasn't. And that is all of the items that I have managed to find that have unique customizations. Let me know if you guys found any that maybe I don't have the item yet. And let me know if you guys found another item with a unique customization that I haven't found. Maybe it's a new 2.0 item or even if it is a 1.0 item. Just feel free to let me know in the comments. Also, what was your favorite item? And do you think that these items deserve these placements? It's okay, I won't cry. Anyways, hope you have a beautiful day and don't like or subscribe. Bye!